What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. A couple of days ago we took a look at the design for the York rework and what you could expect to see from it in sort of like a general sense, since writers have shared a lot of information in forum posts here and there about the direction and theme that they're planning with Yorick, as well as some of the gameplay ideals. And towards the end of the video I mentioned that Riot Zelnath had published a total of 7 prototype Yorick gameplay kits that he designed, and it's something I said I would take a look at, and although they are just prototypes, it's pretty easy to make reasonably accurate conclusions at what his future abilities are actually going to be, since these are legitimate gameplay kits designed by a rider who spent a long time working on Yorick, and they share a lot of similarities amongst one another, and either way, these kits are just super cool to look at, and they do say a lot about the specifics that we might be able to expect from the Yorick rework. And if you enjoy the video, hit that like button, and if you don't, hit that dislike, and let's jump right into it. The first kit that was designed by Ride Zelnath for Yorick works around the gameplay design of ghouls buffing Yorick, where Yorick also has the option to give those buffs to an ally. His passive would spawn a ghoul every 30 seconds, with the duration being reduced by 2 seconds for each basic attack, and when a ghoul is alive it would give Yorick a buff, with an active component related to the passive buff as well, and an additional effect occurring if that type of ghoul is already alive when you activate the ability, and then the ghoul also scales off of York's health and attack damage. His Q would give a speed boost and bonus melee damage, his W would give attack damage and have an area of effect slow, his E would give sustain and mark his opponent for the option to get an additional boost of healing, and his ultimate would spawn all three types of ghouls and it could be cast on an ally to give them all of the buffs, or on an enemy to stun them for 2 seconds and activate all of the ghouls bonus effects. This design for a rework does a great job of accomplishing the idea of making the ghouls interactive to play against, because by killing a ghoul you would deny Yorick an impactful passive buff, and put yourself in an advantage. The ultimate honestly seems pretty crazy though, so it might be a little bit tough, and I would say that this version of the kit is at risk of being too overloaded, honestly just too overpowered, since every single ability has a passive, an active, and a bonus effect, and then the ultimate just like piles everything together, and that ultimate would honestly just be incredibly versatile and probably broken. The second kit that was designed by Ride Zelnath was designed around ghouls interacting with each other, with York's ultimate being this tool that just spawns an army. His passive would spawn a ghoul every 30 seconds, lowered by 2 seconds on basic attacks, and the ghouls scale with York's AD and health, you get the idea, and each individual ghoul has their own ability that gets activated when York uses the respective ability in his kit. His Q would give him the bonus damage and movement speed, and the Q ghouls would make the other ghouls attack the struck target. The W would give York an area of effect slow that activates outwards from him, and the W ghoul would slow enemies near it, and the E would mark a target and restore HP and deal bonus damage when they were hit, and the E ghoul would root the marked target. The ultimate would also spawn a massive army of spirits that explode next to an enemy unit and deal damage, and York would actually switch to controlling the army instead of himself during the duration of the ultimate. Now the numbers shown in these graphics are just placeholder numbers, so no, this would obviously not be dealing 300,000 damage, but the idea of ghouls that kind of have like their own abilities would be a great way to make the ghouls feel a lot more meaningful for the York player, as opposed to just passive effects, and that ultimate could be really interesting. If I'm understanding it correctly, it would make you control almost like a new champion for a bit until it ran out, so that could create for some really interesting stuff. The third kit designed by Zelnath was designed to make York a close range melee bruiser where he could use his ghouls to gain ranged damage and harass but also putting the ghouls at risk to get killed when using them. His passive once again would be the spawn the ghoul every 30 seconds with a 2 second reduction on basic attacks but now his ghouls would also tank 10% of all damage dealt to Yorick and if he already had 3 ghouls out, his passive would just heal his already existing ghouls. The rest of his kit was a little bit more simplified, his Q was just the movement speed buff and the bonus damage, the W, the area of effect slow that's also cast around the ghouls though, in addition to just casting around him, and his E had the effect to mark the target, and then heal for a bunch upon hitting the marked target. His ultimate was the same one in the previous kit actually, so this version is pretty similar to the last one, and we're starting to see some similarities among the different kits, which is where we can kind of start to draw conclusions for what his future abilities might be. But this version made York much more tanky and brawly, kind of like an in-your-face frontliner that uses his ghouls for utility rather than for the majority of his game plan. So I'm not sure entirely how promising this design in specific was. For the fourth kit designed by Zelnath, this one goes a little bit more ham on the melee brawler concept and builds around that with the ghouls just being a bunch of adds that the opponents have to deal with. 
This version kept that 10% health share, but removed the passive spawning instead, increasing the ghoul limit to a soft cap of 6 instead of 3 with the new passive. His Q was an area of effect cleave that spawned a ghoul if it killed a unit, and his W would be a targeted slow upon a location instead of just a slow that explodes out from Yorick and his E would give him a massive buff to both himself and his ghouls, and his ultimate would instantly summon 10 ghouls at the targeted location. Now this kit is interesting in the gameplay concepts it might create, but it does lack a little bit of that necromancery feel to it maybe, since the ghouls kind of just become like an added bonus into his kit, however that ultimate of just point and click spawn hella ghouls is pretty hilarious to the point where it would honestly be super fun to play with probably. However, this version of Yorick is likely to be a lot more frustrating to play against since it just spawns a crap ton of ghouls to where there's no way they wouldn't be super annoying to play against. And the fifth kit designed by Zalnath takes things into a bit more of a unique direction and introduces kind of like an ammo system that would allow Yorick to spawn ghouls with. His passive stores a ghoul charge called a spirit every 20 seconds. His Q was that cleave effect, but if it killed a unit, it would convert a spirit into a ghoul, and any ghouls alive would also produce that damaging cleave effect. His W was a targeted skill shot version of the area of effect slow, but if it hit a ghoul, they would become like a suicide kind of unit that would kind of just run at an enemy and explode for a bunch of damage, like a Maokai sapling. And his E was a line skill shot that marked enemy champions hit and dealt damage, and then of course he gets the heal after attacking a marked target. His ultimate would spawn 5 ghouls instantly while also converting all existing spirits into ghouls, so you could potentially get as many as 10 ghouls from this ultimate. Now this version of York introduces some new mechanics that could be quite interesting to play around with. The idea of potentially being able to transform his ghoul into almost like a baneling from Starcraft, like a suicide bomber kind of dude seems pretty fun. I guess it's just like a Maokai sapling on steroids. And his Q and E have like a little bit of a spin on them that makes them a bit more interesting because with the Q, the ghouls can also cast the cleave effect. With the E, it becomes a line skill shot instead of just like a mark thing. And I guess it's worth noting though that in this version, the ghouls were kind of like Elise spiderlings in the sense that they just kind of stayed near him. They only really attacked someone in melee range if Yorick was already hitting them, with the exception of the W effect. But with this version, since the ghouls would also cast his cleave ability, it would actually make jungle Yorick pretty viable since he would have a lot more wave clear in this version. And our sixth kit designed by Riot Zelnath is just kind of a revision of the previous kit, where his passive, Q, W, and ultimate are all pretty much the same, but his E is a new ability now that targets a location, and ghouls will dash to that location, damaging all enemies hit along the way. So in this version, his ghouls become much, much more proactive, and Yorick gains the ability to actually make the ghouls attack people, at the cost of no longer having a form of sustain in his kit, outside of the mechanic of the ghouls sharing 10% of the damage. This version caters to the theme of Yorick a little bit more, of making his ghouls just the vast majority of his gameplay, and it makes his ghouls much more interesting than the previous version, since he gets the ability to make them move around and stuff, which also gives him a lot of ranged interactions with his cleave especially, so it could be pretty fun to use for sure. And the seventh version of the York kit that we have is a bit different from the previous kits and introduces a couple of new abilities. He spawns a ghoul every 20 seconds, his Q is that cleave effect that the ghouls also cast with him, and it spawns a ghoul when a large minion or champion is killed within 2 seconds of getting hit by the cleave effect. His W is the area of effect slow that also makes a ghoul a kamikaze suicide ghoul, and his E is a skill shot that blinds enemies hit, but it can also be cast by a ghoul instead if there's one available, in which case it will pass through minions and fear the enemies hit instead of blinding them. And his ultimate would instantly spawn 5 ghouls. In this version, spawning ghouls becomes much more difficult, so therefore killing a ghoul is also a bit more rewarding, but the extra effects the ghouls apply are a little bit stronger. He gets the increased utility on his E of the fear instead of just a slow, which could make a really big impact, as well as having that 10% health share passive and stuff. Anyway, by now, hopefully you noticed some similarities between the seven kits in terms of the ability designs. His W's probably gonna have some kind of slow, his Q's gonna keep the ghoul spawning effect and be like some kind of a damage nuke, maybe a cleave, and his E's gonna become more of a utility focused spells, and those ability mechanics aren't actually that different from the current Yorick, but once again, those are just potential designs, prototypes from a rider, so we can't really say for sure. 
but the consistencies amongst the kits show that they will probably keep some form of York's gameplay idea intact at least a little bit, at least in spirit, right? His ultimate's a little bit more difficult to predict though, since it's definitely 100% we know for a fact it's going to become a totally new ability from his pre-rework ultimate, but Ride Zelnath did say that he really liked the sort of minion rush of just spawning a bunch of ghouls instantly kind of idea for the ultimate, and it does fit really well with his theme, and also incorporates extremely well into a kit that is all about summoning ghouls and doing stuff with them, and it's honestly probably super fun to play with too. So I would say that you could probably expect to see his ultimate, or at least his kit, containing some kind of ability that just spawns a bunch of ghouls. So which potential York kit did you think was the coolest, and which one was maybe not so cool? Leave a comment, and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.